everyone Eid Mubarak to you all in advance it's the day before Eid and I thought I'd vlog today with the whole Eid prep and everything what I'm going to do today we are gonna go out and buy some Eid snacks and like things to eat during Eid I'm most probably gonna cook one small curry or something to eat eat tomorrow but I don't know why I'm going to do that because we've been invited to my in-laws and my mum's to eat. So technically I don't think we're going to be eating at home. But you know, you, you have to cook something. This Eid, I'm not making any handesh by the way. Only because my mother-in-law's making it, my mum's making it. Um, every house that I go to is going to have handesh. So I'm not going to bother making handesh this Eid. I don't know how I feel about that. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment on my videos, press that notification bell button. Um, and also, I'm a beauty blogger on Instagram, so make sure you guys go and follow me on Instagram. What else? As you can tell by my voice, I am actually really sick, really poorly. I've been sick for the last one week. I stopped my Ramadan vlogs from day 21. I think my last vlog, what, what did I do? I don't even know what I did, but yeah, day 21 was my last vlog. So I haven't been vlogging since, and it's like day 30 today, I think. And I've just been recovering from my illness. I haven't got COVID. None of us have COVID. We tested and it was negative, alhamdulillah. But it felt like COVID almost, you know, um, minus the body pains. I just didn't have any body pains, but... Um, everything else I had all the other symptoms like I was severely ill like wow and I'm still really run down can you tell I'm really nasal at the moment which I hate and I've got like sinus head pains and stuff and I can't put my head like I can't bend down because all the blood rushes to my head you know that feeling I hate that feeling but anyways the kids are really doing well alhamdulillah they had fever as well for the whole week um i think yesterday they've just kind of recovered so they're not they've not been going to school um and now eid is tomorrow so they're most probably going to go to school on friday i don't know i don't see the point of that but friday yeah they're going to go to school most probably um and let me know down in the comments what your plans are for eid guys i'm going to get ready now whilst i'm talking to you guys i might as well get ready i'm just going to wear quick makeup literally um also let me give you guys update on what's been going on um with the cat so we have a new kitten in the house he is called kalia so i've booked a vet's appointment for the kitten on wednesday next week wednesday at 12 o'clock so we're gonna go vets for pets and i'm most probably gonna get cat insurance all of that we're gonna get him vaccinated fleed wormed all of that stuff so i asked them about neutering the cat so what they do castrate cats um apparently you're meant to do that to cats i find it really sad though to be honest but yeah anyways um so the cat apparently um, is too young because the cat's only eight weeks now so we are most probably gonna do it around four months old so let me know how your experience was getting your cat neutered and if you had a male cat how was it was it difficult afterwards did they recover quickly or the, all of that stuff so do let me know guys in the comments i'm kind of worried i feel like my cat's getting hits muscle money i'm done because i remember my son he had his Muslim money ham is circumcision by the way so i remember my son had his circumcision done and it was a, quite a scary experience not gonna lie but yeah um let me know what else what else oh yeah let's talk about the issue with what's happening in palestine i just find it so disgusting how the media is representing it 
because they were like i think it was bbc news or was it sky sky news i think we're talking about how it's um there was a clash between palestinians and israelis and that was not the case there was no clash the palestinians were praying and they were getting bombed oh, in al-aqsa whilst they're praying in ramadan why does this happen every year during ramadan i remember last year in ramadan something like this similar happened as well it's just so heartbreaking seeing young children crying because their parents have died young children dying and it's just so heartbreaking oh my god and you know what alhamdulillah alhamdulillah i am so grateful to god for giving us giving me my family everyone around me shelter and you know food and a safe place to live basically but we take these things for granted honestly we, we don't think about it until we see something like this and it's just so traumatic so upsetting and i feel like the whole eid vibe has gone down completely like you know how i get really excited during eid um i, I feel really run down not gonna lie plus i'm ill as well but i did see a video on mufti mink where he was saying how eid is um given to us muslims to celebrate so it's two days a year two days a year that we are um given a chance to celebrate and it's our day to celebrate so there should be no reason not to celebrate and he said it he worded it really nicely i just love mufti mink so he's right we shouldn't let anything you know you know get us down we should celebrate eid but obviously keep our palestinian brothers and sisters in our duas that's all we can do and also by the way i do have a um just giving page to help raise some money to help the palestinians so i link that down in my description box for you guys to have a look and to donate as much as you guys can and yes what else what else has been happening so what i'm doing now i've just done my base and my favorite products that i love using um for everyday use is the mac face and body foundation this is really lightweight really um it gives you that natural skin finish I really like it and it doesn't cover up everything like you can still see my freckles my acne scars my pigmentation you can see it all but it just feels like it's like gives you that even tone also i've put on the huda beauty concealer which i really like and then i've just put on my easy bake loose powder by huda beauty as well and what i'm going to do is just apply a little bit of blusher and this is the zoeva coral spectrum blusher palette is really old and i just really like the top two shades i just literally apply it everywhere like so i'm also gonna apply some lips <sighs> so for the lips i am going to use my mac cosmetics lip pencil in cork And I am going to apply some lip gloss in the middle. I can't be asked with lipstick today. Now, eyebrows. I have been using the Not Cosmetics um, eyebrow palette. This is the Total Look Brow Kit. It is a really good eyebrow palette. I'm not going to lie. I link down below. Um, the oh my god yeah like i was saying i link this down below in my description box so you can have a look it's really affordable and i think i've got a discount code as well that you guys can use 
and I really like this. They also, I've been also using their BB cream. Where is it? Oh, here. This is really nice. It's the BB cream advanced skin corrector and I'm shade zero free. Really like this as well. It's similar to the MAC face and body, but it's so much cheaper. So I'll link all of that down below for you guys. And this um, pal uh, eyebrow palette comes with a little mini angle brush, which is like the perfect size um, for my brows. I really like it. And this dark brown colour is just perfect for my eyebrows. And I really like to do this whole straight look. I don't know if you guys can tell. By the way, I'm so rubbish at filling in my eyebrows. This just makes my life a little bit easier. Because what my sister does, she starts like concealering it. Concealering? You know doing concealer thingy around her brows and i've done that in the past and my eyebrows have come out perfect but who's got time to do that every day she does not me oh my god this is not like it Okay, I think that's my eyebrows done. Next, we are going to move to eyes. So, I've been doing something really quick and easy for my eyes. So, I've been using the FW Cosmetics Bengal palette. This is an eyeshadow palette, as you guys can tell. I've had this for the longest, and I've been using it and abusing it as usual. So, what I do, I get a nice fluffy blending brush, and I use the shade chai i just like the perfect nice neutral brown color and i just literally put it all over my eyelid and the crease it's such a nice light brown color that really suits my skin tone i love it guys this is like the perfect everyday shade and it's the quickest um makeup eyeshadow look you can do literally it really complements olive medium skin tone like me and also you can get 10% off by the way on any of their cosmetics any of their skincare using my discount code shelly10 which is brilliant and they also have another shade called mishti this one's a bit lighter than chai that is really nice as well if you want to go for a bit more lighter toned down look and their yellow color called dan is so beautiful this goes really well with shuna the shimmery gold shade and by the way all the shades are called bengali names like rickshaw bazaar nodi shurma silet mela daha barsa shuna dan bangla gram shapla sari chai and mishti how cute is this palette oh my god and they've got all the colors i can hear the cat coming into my room but yeah these are so cute is able do you have the cat her on the bed now oh the cat's under my bed guys. okay why did you let the cat upstairs mommy you look like a monkey yeah right so i've been using this new mascara that i wanted to talk to you guys about it's the maybelline sky high lash sensational mascara this has been all over tiktok instagram everywhere so i thought you know what i'll grab myself one I, i've got the very black shade and this is where's my mirror this is such a really really good mascara by the way let me tell you that before and i wanted to show you guys how um, it looks on my lashes so this is what my lashes look like and as soon as I start applying them you can see how they just lift 
they just lift up into the air and it grabs every single lash and I love it and my lashes are really long at the moment because of a serum that I've been using and I'll show you that in a bit but how beautiful is this mascara stop making noise no Sable. I absolutely love this and you know the wand it's really flexible so it can really get into the nooks and crannies look at that no mess usually I make such a mess how cool is that look at this eyelash and this one before and after how cool is that so yeah I'm most probably not gonna wear any falsies for Eid tomorrow. Oh, the kitty cat's there sniffing around. Don't touch it, don't touch it. Lay it, lay it, lay it, relax. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to apply is, what do you call it? Highlighter, because I forgot to apply highlighter, guys. And I'm just gonna, oh, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amreezy highlighter, which is the best highlighter in the whole entire world. I absolutely love it. If you don't have this, I don't think you can have it because it's always out of stock. But I highly recommend you guys to grab it if you do find it in stock. And let me know as well because I kind of want to get another one. So that is my makeup done for my everyday look. Someone's calling me. Oh, who's this? Where's your other sock? Thank you. Mm. Where's the kitty cat and Siva? She's licking herself. Not she, he. Hey, Kalia. Let me give her that. Hi. Let me give her that toy. Okay. Do you I like this toy, Kalia? He's tired. Why do you keep saying she? <laughs> it's purring. Shh, let's hear. Mm. So cute. Come on, get in. Pick it up. Be quiet. Be 
তোমায় লাগে নো ফাইকা রে তোমার টয়লেট ঠিক করছি নো আমায় মানে ক্লিন টয়লেট পু হই যো ওকে ওকে যত তা পু করছ হালকু এভরিডে গাইজ আই ক্লিন দ্য কিটিজ লিটারি এভরিডে তা সো মাচ পু পু সো মাচ পু পু লুক তা ফেস আমার লুক তার নোজ বেশি সুন্দর মাসাল্লাহ আল্লাহ তো হো খিলান So are we going to do Eid decorations today guys? Yes. yes. I'm so excited. Uh, what happened to your what happened to your cheek? Show us. Oh, basically the I let the cat go on the chair and then it was running to me and jumped on me and cracked my face. Yeah. And what about your tooth missing? Yeah. This is not good for you. <laughs> Tomorrow on Eid day you're not going to look your best, are you? I'm going to look good. Tooth cute, missing. Though. You got a scratch on your face. It's okay. Yeah. You're beautiful. Yeah. We'll cover mm-hmm. up with Mindy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go now. Let's see what you've got in your new bag. Wait, she gets the phone in her bag. Nuseba has a phone in her bag. What do you have in your bag? A broken iPhone. And you got money. And what else do you have in your little she Look, babe. Look what she's got in her little pouch. She has money as well. She's got, got one, one pound. Wow. What about you, Asia? I, Let's I see what's in your bag. Te khandra hai le the. Ferotni. We play in me too. Okay, today we'll go out. I'm get you something to buy in there, okay? I need a I need a lipstick for my lips. Oh, shuna my go. To me too. Lipstick so. The fake kids lipstick. Oh, little kids lipstick. Okay, that makes sense. A fake one. One that doesn't work. It's a real one. It's little kid lipstick. Okay then. What do you want for iftar babe today? I want the Hold on, I'll give her a lipstick. Don't move. Oh wow. There you go. Oh, wow. Wow. It's red color. Awesome. Can I have some? Hey, you want lipstick as well? Okay. This that's become mm. makeup artist. Okay, I need to hoover upstairs now, guys. Excuse me. Yeah.
Right, you guys, we've just come back from outside and I've got a ton, lot of shopping that I wanted to show you. Loads of shopping. Um, I'll show you what we got from Poundland first. So, we popped into Poundland mainly because of all the candies and sweets that you can get. So, we grabbed loads of these um, popping candy. These are so yummy. They're so tangy and not tangy actually they're really sweet and they pop on your tongue if you haven't tried these you need to go out and get these we also got some party party ring biscuits love these i think these were like 50p a packet we also grabbed these these are flying saucers these are really interesting they're like edible paper um covers it's edible it's like edible paper basically it's like plastic paper which has no taste but inside there's really a sour sherbet inside so you put it in your mouth and it just melts in your mouth and it's i love this my kids love it uh, we grabbed some tiaras for the girls and if we have any guests we can give them to them as well and we've got some matching ones to go with that my husband picked up the skinny whip strawberry and chocolate snack bars um, they're 99 calories, less than 99 calories each. Suitable for vegetarians. We've got a jumbo party pack uh, Jaffa cake biscuits. I love these. We've got a big family pack of fingers. More flying sauces. Oh, I love these. Butter fudge made with real butter. Oh my god, these are so nice. I can get through like half a packet every night. It's just so nice. Like I can't, it's so moreish. Like I can't stop eating them. Small skinny whip for double chocolate snack bars for the husband. Sherbet straws. Oh my god, these are so nice. These are perfect for parties. They're like sherbet, tangy sour sherbet in straws, and you open up the top and then you just put it in your mouth. It's so nice more popping candy we got these fizzy bones dinky's fizzy bones so they're like chocolate not chocolate tangy candy and they're halal they're suitable for vegetarians so haven't tried these but they look really nice we've also got some double lollies lickable lollies and i like these ones because they're the ones that aren't sticky they're matte matte you know what i mean they're really i like these lollies basically they're not sticky and asia got herself a packet of nerds which are really nice let's put them in the back and the tissues have come out okay so we've got a packet of my little pony uh pocket tissues so i got these because the girls have new um side bags that they carry when they're outside so i thought tissues would be good to put in them um, we also got some Happy Hippo Biscuits. Mm, I love these. And my husband picked this up, which I think is a waste of money, to be honest. But it was only a pound, so it's basically eight in one board games. And they're like tiny board games. And there's Ludo in there as well, which I'm excited about. Cricket, Brain Vita, Car Race, Dinosaur, Football, Snakes and Ladders, Chinese Checkers. So I think Ludo, not Ludo, Snakes and Ladders. Yeah, Snakes and Ladders and Ludo is to that I'm most probably going to play with the kids i also grabbed these little tiny kids makeup sets to put in the girls bags for tomorrow for eid we've got a toy for the cat it's a cat play fun toy i thought this would be good because the cat loves nibbling on stuff so when i'm holding the cat i can give this to, for him to nibble on my husband bought some silly string and it's not for eid tomorrow because I do not allow this to be, you know, sprayed in my house. Because, you know. But yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, my husband got that. I don't know why. Um, some Polo Spearmint Sweet. I love the spearmint flavour. Some bubbles for the party tomorrow. And I've got some decorations. Um, I know I've got decorations already because i got some sent to me by a uh, party decoration company um so i'm gonna have to look for those but i thought i'd buy the party um foil balloons 
banner kit and i also got some circle garlands just to like jazz it up a little bit got some toothpaste for the kids um some glow sticks for tomorrow and the last thing is these um muffins yeah muffins so the double chocolate muffins they're all individually packed these are perfect for like parties so you can just put them out on the table and you know they won't go stale but yeah just put these back so we also went into the works and i noticed they had this like sale on for um their stuff two for five pounds so i was like to the girls you know what choose something and you can play with it tomorrow for eid like a little eid gift kind of thing and they chose it so asia grabbed herself this crystal excavation so this is what it looks like i'm not sure what you do what do you do contains four dig blocks containing four gifts wooden mallet wooden chisel brush instruction fact bo booklet oh that's cool so i think it's got like stones in there like these amethyst citron aventurian lapis lazuli something like that and asia thought this would look this looks kind of cool she can play with her cousins when they come down and the saber grabbed this this is the magic tricks and illusions so these two were two uh two for five pounds which is quite good actually not bad and i grabbed this for mustafa to play with it's a space hopper it's a lion one and this was six pound so i just have to inflate this so that is our little the works haul and then lastly we went into iceland and did a big shop and i wanted to grab like little finger foods you know little, little niblets to um fry up when guests come around tomorrow or this week because eat lasts for like a couple of days but anyways um i grabbed takeaway sweet chili crispy prawns and i grabbed two packets because they were two pounds and now they're one pound and got then we grab two we grab loads of pizzas so we got the goodfellas deep pan pizzas and they were going for three for five pounds so i grabbed three we've also got these which are um jumbo tempura prawns you get 10 in each pack and they were also going for three for five pounds so yes i grabbed three of these as well there they are um they were also doing shazan's five original paratas which is quite cool and usually these are two pound fifty but they were going for one pound twenty five so we grabbed two packets of these because i'm planning to make shawoi vermicelli is that what it's called or shemai or i don't know what you guys call it but yeah, Shemai, I'm planning to make for tomorrow's Eid breakfast for us. And it's going to be Shemai and Forota. And oh, I love that. Grab myself a cucumber for my detox water. Let's put these back. Okay. Also grab some coleslaw. Loads of bananas, which... I don't know, there's huge, nine, nine huge bananas in there. Um, we got some vegetable spring rolls. You get 16 in this. And I think they were like a pound, which is really good. And I got another packet of those as well. And I love this vegetable spring rolls. They're so tasty. I got some cheese, savory biscuits. Got some crinkle cut chips. Dairy D. Freddo, Twirl, Whisper, Milky Bar, Milky Way Crispy Rolls, mm. and a Vimto bottle and some Pringles. So that is my shopping call done. I am so hungry and so tired and I need to sort all this out. I need to put everything back feed the kids but thank god i got some takeaway for the girls um most of it doesn't like that stuff so i'm gonna have to make some food for him but i got the girls some chopsticks and i'm so cold i put the heater on i'm freezing i don't know why why is it so cold 
I hope tomorrow it's not raining. Um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to feed the girls and then we're going to decorate the room. I don't know which room to decorate. It's either going to be this room, the front living room, or the back dining room. I like decorating the back dining room because then I can keep the door closed and Mustafa won't mess everything up. But let's see what we do. right you guys so as you guys just saw we've blown up the balloons some of the balloons put up the decoration Oh, no, I think it's gonna pop the balloons, guys. But anyways, forget that. Oh, stop, no saber. Yes. Anyways, um, so tomorrow morning, I am gonna or tonight actually, I'm gonna put up all the gifts, and tomorrow morning I'm gonna put set up the table, and yes, I think this is gonna be the end of the vlog. Um, hope you guys enjoy today's vlog. Bye bye. There's Kalia on top of Wapu. Um, and my husband's not eating, guys. He's feeding Mustafa. But anyways, bye, guys. Bye. Hey, bye. What? Can you put that in as well? No, not please face. <laughs> Can you put that in as well? I'm cut. Eat Mubarak, guys. Eat Mubarak. Eat Mubarak. <laughs>